Okay, I'm back. Makes more sense to bring this stuff out when you need it. Uh, so today, basically taking it out of the cardboard, hopefully not getting a paper cut, and waterproofing. I will be doing up on the deck because I don't want any text. But dear God, I thought that was a snake in there. It's not. So the rest of my afternoon will be spent taking things out, waterproofing it, and putting it to the side. Um And I'm not going to bore you with filming me waterproofing anything. I hate those videos. Um, 30 minutes of very boredom shite. Um, and like I said, there will be no um, crazy music, intros, background music, because I hate that. It drives me nuts. Um... You're not going to see me jump around like a fool. You're not going to see my molars because I'm over smiling. Um, you will never see me with my shirt off. So, um, yeah. This is not going to be your typical quilty person vlog. Um, down to earth, laid back, piddle farting around. That's what it's called. So, until I'm ready to, uh, put this thing together, it's peace out for now. See ya. Someone add that on there? Or? Well, apparently it used to be green and blue. And at one point it was red. <clears throat> so there's at least ooh four, maybe five coats of paint on there. Looks like maybe even a purple one. They were about to the trash. Step on that. I mean, I know you just got a tetanus shot, but are those shorts to say you got hot legs? You're about to hit your ankles. Sure. That's gonna hurt. I hit them all the fucking time with a card at work. I have to bleep that out. Okay. Well, I'm only about halfway done. These cars are gonna make me insane. I need a waterfall. Hmm. There's an idea. Bring the pond around here. It'll get rid of the water or the road sound. Um. Man, waterproofing this chicken coop takes a long time. So, this will probably be edited around and won't be in the same order that I'm filming it in. Because I realized I didn't do 
a um, introductory video, and I don't know how close my face is because my camera doesn't have a flip screen on it. My original camera sorry, I had to pick up some wood um, <coughs> that has nails in it. I may have said this in the beginning, I don't remember. Um, the original camera I bought, which is a video camera and regular camera that has a light on it to where you can actually see me, did perfectly fine up until I started to video this vlog. It says it's charged, was working, and then all of a sudden it went black. So, fortunately, if it did die, which is on the charger right now, um, it's under warranty, so I have to send that one back and have it replaced, which I'll end up giving probably to my great niece for Christmas, and I'll just get the camera I was looking at before when I first set up the YouTube channel. Um, I still got to go in and edit that, change the name, I don't remember what it is right now, I haven't been on it for so long. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting outside on my porch. On my swing, that needs to be repainted. So, one more thing to put on my list. Um, but I wanted to kind of clarify, this is more going to be a vlog rather than just YouTube videos. Um, and I'll differentiate between the ones that are like teaching videos or, um, you know, like, I want to do some beginner quilting videos, four squares, nine squares, that type of thing, um, but not so drawn out. I hate those videos when you watch them, and it's a close-up of somebody sewing a quarter-inch seam, um, or just sewing, and you watch them sew with no sound. Um, redundant, I think. So, I mean, like, the basics of putting a four squares together. You go through the steps, and you show them, <coughs> and then you move on. Um, so, that's one aspect of this vlog. And then, of course, my chickens will be coming um, here in the next couple weeks, literally landing. They'll be flown in from Iowa. And then, of course, we have the greenhouse. Um, oh, I can see smoke. I thought, oh my god, somebody's house is on fire. It's the flamethrower, killing all the weeds. Um, works way better than a weed whacker, believe it or not. So our zombie apocalypse flamethrower is getting used. And, yeah, that's a lot of smoke. Must have been a lot of weeds that I wasn't paying attention to. So today, I'm still going to be working on putting the, well, I'm waterproofing. So, who knew waterproofing doesn't come off with soap and water? I didn't, um, but Dawn worked. So, and then we'll be putting the greenhouse together. That will be a videotape and what's going on there with starting seedlings, growing things through the winter, um, especially salad greens and stuff like that, since I really don't want salad greens that somebody laid on, or salmonella, or what was the last thing I heard was in there. Um, I want to say Listeria. Maybe it was E. coli. Maybe it was all three. Probably was. Um, basically, I'm just going to do kind of like a, a homestead with power, I guess. Um, I'm not giving out my conveniences. That's for sure. Um, and I won't have cows and pigs and sheep and goats, but I'll have my chickens in my gardens. Um... Tomorrow for the list is to go pick up items to can, pickles and tomatoes, mainly. So I'll do a video on that. And then we do artisan bread, so I'll be doing some videos on that. And um, trying to tweak the recipe so that they come out better. Um, and yes, I did not have a cup of coffee when we started, but I have a glass of coffee. I've been obsessed with iced coffee. So, and yes, it's a plastic cup with a plastic straw, um, both dishwasher safe, so they get reused. Um, 
Although putting a paper straw in a plastic cup at McDonald's doesn't make sense to me. I'll probably get a, a, a strike for saying McDonald's, but whatever. Um, and then, you know, projects. I still have to show you the studio. It's not done, of course. Um, still has to be painted, but I bought the paint right before I had my last heart ablation. And that one kicked my butt. So, you have get to keep up with my health statuses. Um, changes with the store doesn't really work out well when you hit your iced coffee with the seat of your swing. Um, and I am all over the place when I talk. It's me. It's normal. Um, I'm Irish. So at least I'm talking slow. Um, can't say I'm watching a YouTube video and somebody's talking 90 miles an hour. It's very annoying to me. So basically, my channel will be none of the things that annoy me. Um, pretty much it's just, you know, hanging out, learning new stuff, hopefully laughing. Um, but a normal laugh. Not, <laughs> not gonna do that. Um, you won't see me dancing. Definitely. So, there'll be some sewing, some baking, some canning. The chickens, of course, when they get here, y'all will have to help me name them. Um, they have six coming rock reds, I believe they are, and two, um, I can't pronounce their names, but they're really pretty black chickens. So a total of eight starting out, no rooster, I don't want fertile eggs to start out with. Um, from the way it sounds, we're going to expand the raised beds, and we're about to have some really loud noise. So, I'll have to edit that part out. Um, I live in a village called Sister Lakes. So, the reason it's called Sister Lakes is there are ten lakes here that kind of interconnect, not completely connect, but it's a very big resorty area. So, we have a lot of out of towners mainly. Um, Mainly Chicago, you know, some Indiana, some local who live like 50 miles away and decided, you know, let's build another house on the lake for $1.2 million. But, more power to you, I guess. Um, they're only here about, some of them, three weeks out of the year. Some just the summer. Um, of course, Illinois starts back, they have year-round school, so they start back way earlier than we do. Labor Day weekend, I will be barred into my house because you can't get out of the driveway. Um, on our busy day weekends, it can take 20 minutes to get out of the driveway, so not real fun. But anyway, um, see, I told you I ramble. Um, I don't plan on doing a lot of editing. I don't plan on using music. I will not have some weird drone flying in intro. Um, you're going to push play and the video is going to start. So I, I just I don't understand wasting my time with a really long intro. It's like, get to the point. Um, kind of like this one. But this is telling you what this video, or vlog, is going to be like. Um, so, not really intro, I guess, because you won't see it every time you turn it on. Um, what else? Oh, the boys will be, I'm sure, in here. Um, they're not allowed outside, so they were both sleeping when I came out earlier. I had to go in and have some chicken, of course, because I was building the chicken food. Um, you know, we'll be doing our composting, giving, you know, tips and tricks as we learn um, how to do composting, especially with kitchen scraps, um, garden scraps, that kind of thing. So, the greenhouse will be... You're just going to go right along with me, and we're going to learn together. Um, I'll link some blogs down that I've um, recently become aware of. And um, they're pretty interesting. Also, any videos that I find on YouTube that are, you know, helpful, you know, quilting videos, things like that, new ideas, those will be linked. Of course, my blog will be linked. I plan on starting to write once a week. I'm actually starting to feel a lot better than I used to, um, which is good. Um, the next couple of weeks, I'll be in and out um, to Ann Arbor. I've got 
two appointments a week, a couple of days apart, um, through the end of August, and that's when we find out when the next surgery is, or if it's going to be, so hopefully, I'll make it through the holidays without any new um, medical issues, although I got a call today, I had an event that I wasn't even aware of, um, so it must not have been that bad. Apparently, my um, heart monitor sent some reports that I wasn't aware of. And uh, nothing major, though. So, you know, still tired. I have lupus. Somebody's, I, somebody's bound to ask, what are the little red spots on my face? Um, they're called tangelactasis. It's part of Crest Syndrome. It's just broken capillaries. Nothing major. Um, I've had them for about 25 years, and they've just progressively gotten worse. The more I stress, the more I get. Um, Fortunately, the majority of them are in my hair, or on my scalp, I should say, not on my hair, but in my scalp, so my hair covers them, um, and then, of course, they're on my chest, um, and it's just a stress reaction, and um, quick capillaries break, sometimes they raise, sometimes they don't, um, but that's what those are. Um, I just have a lot of beauty marks, let's say that. So, um, and we do a lot of home projects, so I'll start, you know, vlogging some of that stuff. Maybe somebody will learn something from it, or, you know, maybe you'll see me fall off a ladder and hopefully call 911 to get my fat ass out of the floor. Um, I will take you along on some of my doctor's appointments, so you get to see that side of Michigan. Um, I still have to get my dash cam mount, because I, I'm not coordinated enough to drive and use my camera at the same time let alone drive and text. I don't know how people do it. Oh, that's right. That's why there's accidents. Um, I do not support using your phone and driving at all. I've been T-boned that way. So, don't do it. Um, yeah, I'll show you the two Christmas projects I'm working on with some fabrics that are in the store. One is a panel. And then the coordinating fabrics. Oh, maybe they're both. Yeah, I think they're both panels. Um, but the coordinating fabrics that go along with those. And then, of course, I'm going to be doing some baby blankets, some to send to North Carolina. Um, I appreciate everybody who has um, joined in on that because it sounds like they need them. And I know some hospitals just don't take donations like that anymore, which is kind of dumb. Um, they don't realize that we make these for that reason. They're not just to hang on the wall and look or sit in the closet and take up space. Although I do know some people who do that. Um, what else? I say I'm a lot, too. I'll try to stop doing that. Uh, maybe some of the you know, home health remedy things. I am trying to get away from taking so many pills. Um, I'm maintaining my own potassium by what, what I eat, and I'm not taking any um, potassium anymore, or magnesium, due to what I'm eating. Um, hopefully you'll get to see me lose some of this weight I have gained. And next week I'm really hoping they will take me off the amiodarone, which was started in order to control my heart rate. It's a nasty little medication that you're usually on about six months, and that's it. I've been on it almost two years. And in that two years, I have gained 21 pounds. Not real happy. Um, the other thing I'll probably be doing is I was invited to be a guest speaker for the local um, scleroderma and lupus um, group. And I haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet or not. Um, but that next meeting is on the 26th, I believe. So I will find out if they're okay with me filming of what goes on. For those of you that also have chronic illnesses um, and try to deal every day, this coming meeting is about diet. Um, avoiding anti-inflammatory foods, what to do to remind yourself not to eat those foods. Unfortunately, one of them is tomatoes, which I will never give up. Um, I'm actually going to get about five bushels tomorrow to start canning. So, um, but a lot of stuff on fermentation and how that helps, not only with inflammation, but also GI issues. Um, really good for that. So, we'll see how that goes. And then, like I said, I'm going to try to keep up with my blog weekly. 
I gotta dig out my notebook laptop. It's just so much easier to write on that for me. Especially I can be out here and write. Um, as long as our weather holds. Today is a a good day. It's breezy. It was 77, but now it's like 74. So almost like a fall type day, which I'd be happy if it stayed this way year round. Um, other than snowing on Christmas Day, that would be great. So that's pretty much what coffee and a layer cake piddle farting around is about. Um, I just piddle fart around now because I don't have the strength and stamina to do things all at once. Hence, studio still needing to be painted, floors needing to be mopped, laundry needing to be folded and put away, it's washed, it's dried, it's in a pile. So, it's wearable. Nobody's going anywhere to impress anybody. That's the other thing. I'm not trying to impress anybody with numbers or likes or shares, anything like that. And I figured this project, as many as I have, um, will help me to not see all the political BS. Ugh. It's making me sick. Um, quite sad, actually. I just don't remember a political climate being this way. And I do, again, I apologize for the car noise. Um, we do live on a, a busy road this time of year. Once Labor Day comes and goes, it will be much less. Because I do plan on um, filming more outside until it gets too cold. Um, other than you following me over to the greenhouse, which will be around 80 degrees in there. Um, we're out to feed the chickens, see how they're doing. Um... <clears throat> One thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to take you guys with me to Shipshawana um, after the chicken's house is ready and the run and maybe Metalberry, I don't know. I usually end up spending the entire day <clears throat> in Shipshawana, so I'll take you to a couple, a couple of the textile, textile mills that are there. And they call them a mill, but they're not. That's just where they sell stuff. And the building is amazing, so we'll go on a tour of the building. It's the mercantile. Um, and probably Yoder's department store. It's kind of cool. has a little bit of everything in there. Um, show you their fabric selections. That, I mean, both of these places do have websites. I personally thought they were a little pricey. Um, but they do have some pretty unique stuff in there. One of the larger selections of wool fabric, which can't be in my house due to allergies. Um, and they have some gorgeous handmade quilts hanging up on the wall. And there's another place at um, El Dawson House, which is a huge little complex. And they have a quilt shop in there, pretty small, but they have some gorgeous quilts. So I will have to actually contact them to see if I can film in there and if they would like to showcase their quilts, because some of the Amish quilts that are in there are to die for. Um, the prices are there, too, so um, some of them will take you back. It's like, oof. But they're handmade, they're hand-stitched. Um, I had one. It unfortunately pretty much fell apart after, I want to say, 12 years I had it. Um, it just kind of disintegrated, but the the fabric that they use is not mercerized, it's not stabilized, um, it's open woven for the most part. Um, a lot of it's hand dyed after they've woven it themselves. Depending on where they're at, um, another trip I want to do is the Amish community in Tennessee, uh, which I'm hoping to do in the fall, but I can't really plan that until these doctor's appointments are over with. So there's a couple things to look forward to. Um, I don't know of any quilt shows coming up locally. And then I'll keep you up to date on if I decide to build a small shop for the public. Because right now my shop is in my basement, which was converted. And I technically can't have people coming in um, due to insurance reasons and going downstairs to shop, quote unquote, um, or pick up your orders. So I am considering doing a small little shop off to the side of the house, but I haven't made that decision yet. I need to start selling a lot more fabric in order to finance that. Um, 
doing that is not easy because you know it's got to have electricity, it's got to pass inspection, it's got to have heat and air, yada yada yada. Um, so that is something I'm contemplating as well as possibly just selling my inventory out and ending it all with the shop. It can get overwhelming. Um, so that's one more thing. So if you go through my list, I'm blogging. I'm blogging. I'm writing a book. Of course I'm sewing um, when I have the want. Some days I just don't want to sew. I don't want to look at it, but it's in my living room, so I do have to look at it because I sew upstairs mainly. Um, but I will be moving some things back down to the studio. I mean, I do have that giant sewing table that was built for me. That has only been used once. Um, I am going to do a video on braided rugs and the best way to do them. And I'm not doing a jelly roll rug video. Pfft. It's been done so many times it's redundant. Let's see. What are other projects? Uh, basics of quilting. Some comparisons. I will do that just to see, you know, if it's worth the price. That's the nice thing about Amazon. You can buy it, you don't like it, you can send it back in 30 days. Um, and so I will do some stuff like that. I will not be doing anything with, you know, Berninia, Husqvarna, um, Baby Lock, any of the higher price machines I'm not going to do a video on. They're out of my league. So, and I would never... Um, spend that kind of money on a sewing machine. Um, not that it's a bad thing, but I'm just not going to do it. You know, you never know if you're going to wake up today um, and not be able to do anything or not wake up. So, I'll show you how my mid-arm works. A lot of people have wondered about that. You, know, you don't really have to have a long arm in your house. You can have a smaller frame and a mid-arm. Mine's a Brother 1500 PQ. So we'll be talking about that, different types of thread, of course fabric, um, I've got some to show you that I was a little perplexed over, um, and differences in quality and things like that. Not that lower quality is horrible, but just some differences in it, you know, the stretchiness in it, the grain of it, the feel of it, um, stuff like that. So. I'm still trying to get used to looking at the camera. I'm one of the people that kind of looks all around. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. There'll probably be not any family stuff on my vlog. Um, just because I am a homebody. I prefer to be home. I don't get bored. Uh, people scare me these days with the way they drive and not pay attention and... They're germs. I have to be really careful about germs. So, um, hopefully I'm not making you dizzy by swinging. I'm going to obviously look at this video before I put it up. Um, and like I said, I'll probably edit it so it won't be in order. Um, I won't voice over it. I can't stand voiceovers. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I need to get back to waterproofing. I think I've got five more pieces to do, which are basically frames. It doesn't take that long. Um, and then everything has to dry on that. And I may put the stakes in for the chicken run, because they're going to have two runs. They're going to have one underneath their house, and then they'll have one that they can come out into. And then they will also be able to free range, but of course, you know, the first six or seven weeks, you need to keep them kind of contained um, so that they know where they're supposed to come back to um, just until they start getting accustomed to where they live which they they have quite the little Cape Cod home here that came in this kit so kind of excited to show you what that looks like when it's done and then of course we still have to begin the leveling process for the greenhouse and staking that out and putting all the landscape cloth down, I think is what it's called, um, and deciding what the in inside floor is going to be. Um, I have a bunch of stone pavers which can technically be put in there. Um, so we'll see, because if I take the stone pavers up, then I have to have a new sidewalk put in. Um, not sure that's going to be a 
well-received idea, but we will see. Um, that's pretty much it. Until next time, see ya. Alright, so, I'm behind the camera holding it at the moment. Everything is waterproofed, including the roof. Um, let's go outside the screen here. Not a ton of pieces, um, but enough. And, oh, I don't know, a couple thousand screws it looked like. Roof's over there. Yes, it's shingled. Um, which is nice. Not so keen on the, uh, nesting boxes they put in here. They look a little cheap. Um, you can see I don't have my, uh, cushion made for this chair that the squirrels ate, little BS dudes. Um, some pots that I haven't filled up, which those are going in my greenhouse for growing potatoes this winter. I'm going to try my hand at that. Um, here is... If I don't fall down the steps. See? A damn nut from the squirrels. Um, this is the compost pile started, sort of, it's leftovers, um, and then my fern garden, which needs some serious help, um, that used to be a willow tree that Nick accidentally set on fire from the inside out. Didn't even know it until I came around the corner on the lawnmower a couple of years ago. That was an experience. Um, and just what the yard looks like. It's very peaceful, other than the stupid car noise. Um, used to be a big walnut tree right there. It had to come down because the ants attacked it, kind of like they did my um, decorative plum. So it's been the um, potash area where we burn paper and cardboard and stuff like that to turn it into potash and then of course we're trying to get rid of the stump too so um, that will be going away from what I understand which is crazy because I have lots of cardboard from shipments and bolts getting emptied out